guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave, as well as turn on the post notification bell also down below to be notified of all of my future uploads. Okay, so today's video is going to be about this beautiful wig. I ended up seeing this on the mannequin head as I see 90% of the wigs that I try on um, in beauty supply stores and I fall in love with them on the mannequin head and then I go online and I search for a promo code so I won't have to pay full price. So at my local beauty supply store, I believe this wig was about $65 and I looked online and I saw this for $15 regular price. So when I saw it for $15, I ended up looking for promo codes and I found a promo code because I bought a whole bunch of wigs and I got like a percentage off. So I paid about $12 for this wig and I'm really excited to try this. It is a half wig so I have my hair out in the front. I washed my hair, I put some Eco Styler gel, I twisted it up and then I put these perm rods at the end. I only have five perm rods on my hair and then the rest is just braided in these big doo-doo braids. <laughs> I was looking for something that is really beautiful and curly, something that's carefree that I can wear when I don't want to really fix my hair and I don't want to wear a full wig because I'm getting like over seeing the lace in the front. I mean frontals are good and everything but you get self-conscious about those you know what I mean? So, so this wig is from Sensational. It's from their Instant Weave Boutique Bundles line and the name of this wig is Boutique Twist. I got her in a color number one and one pretty much matches my hair because my hair is jet black. It says that this wig can be curled and it's curling high and safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit but I don't think that I'll be putting any heat on this wig. Okay so taking this wig out of the package let's take a look at her. Mm, she she's a more looser curl than I thought she would be. She reminds me off the bat of Outre Penny. That's the type of curl that she's giving me right now. I don't know if my <laughs> little hair in the front is going to match in with this, but we're going to try to make it work. I noticed that she has two combs. She has like a long comb in the back and then an even longer comb um, in the front for you to secure the wig and she also does come with an adjustable strap. Alright, so now I'm just going to take these twists out and try the wig on. So I ended up leaving these rods in my hair a little bit too long. So as you can see, it's like shrinking up so much. I left them in for three days and I meant to do this video yesterday but I didn't get a chance to. So yeah, this hair is gonna be... Uh. All right, so now that this is unloosened, let's just try this wig on, I'm just gonna put the comb in in the back and then stretch her forward. So I did use a leave-in conditioner on my hair before I applied the gel and there was like a um, white residue that you see that is left on my hair so ignore that if you do notice it. The wig cap is very very stretchy so I definitely would say that it is big head friendly. How does she look y'all? Just giving you Diana Ross vibes or what type of vibes is this giving you? messing my leave out a little bit but it literally you just put this wig on and you're good to go I love this this reminds me of Dominican curly but I think this is more glamorous though I'm happy let's see the front I'm really happy though okay so I don't have a mirror but I do have this little viewfinder on my camera we about to try to adjust this and make it work and it is blending so well. Minus the gel flakes, y'all. I'm blind with these contacts. Okay. With it being so long and so big, I would say that it's not an everyday wig. So if you do want to like wear it weekly or for a week, you would have to basically just cut it, um, you know, frame your face a little bit. And I think it'll be really, really cute like that. But I feel like this wig is really good for vacations. It's a curly wig, so like a tropical place. It's really good for pictures. It's really beautiful. You really have no reason to run your fingers through the hair, so I have not been getting any shedding at all, which I really like. I feel like this hair is 
the perfect luster although it's a color number one it's not too shiny like baby doll hair like a lot of synthetic wigs are but it's the perfect luster so it looks really really natural and I really really like this wig I have nothing but positive things to say about this wig do you like this let me know down below in the comment section have you tried this wig before let me know down below in the comment section let's talk all about this wig so I think this wig is perfect for the spring because it's hot on my head but it's not too too hot so spring is not really burning up outside, the temperature is still cool, so you can get away with wearing this and be comfortable in it. The one thing that I probably would do is add more combs for security. I don't feel like it's really secure on the sides of my head, but the front is secure and the back is secure, but I would just add a little bit more combs just to make sure that this wig ain't going nowhere. So I went into my bathroom and I noticed that my leave out in the front is a little bit ashy, like it's not really, you know, looking the best. So I'm going to have to spray it with my bottle of water and put some wet look gel on that and make sure that my leave-in is kind of blending in a little bit and not looking too ashy. So I got a little bit too carried away with the water and gel and my hair just started reverting back after it dried it just shriveled up into nothing pretty much. When it was wet it was okay but when it dried it shriveled up into nada and it just really didn't blend in at that point. I just wish that I did like some flexi rods on this hair um, on like straightened hair instead of doing what I did with the um, perm rods or at least use like flexi rods to give it some elongation but yeah I kind of messed it up after I put the water in jail so we just gonna ignore that. wig is really long like it comes to my belly button I'm five foot seven and a half so it's a really long wig if you are shorter the wig will be bigger and it will be longer on you but one thing that I do like about this wig is that you don't have to wear all of it to the front like this is how all of the hair looks to the front it's kind of overwhelming but it's, it's pretty but it's a little bit overwhelming you know what I mean so you could just wear some You could just wear um, some to the back. So it just won't be so much in your face at one time. And one thing I wanted to suggest about um, leaving your hair out in the front with a half wig, if your hair really isn't as thick or full um, around the edges, as the rest of this hair. You could just put some water on it, put some gel, whatever gel works for your hair type, and then you can use this colored edges. Um, this is by OK Naturals, and this is a temporary color, and it's black. So basically you would just put it over your thinning hairline or over your thinning edges, and it makes it look like your edges are fuller than what they are. If you are not familiar with this product, I definitely think you should get your hands on it because it is amazing if your edges are thinner than you would like them to be. This definitely helps conceal that and, and it, it looks really, really natural. So I definitely recommend this 100%. Or you can part your leave out in the middle and wear it as a middle part. So if you choose to do a middle part with this wig, you can definitely do that. You would just have to part your leave out in the front and try to cover up the wig cap a bit um, where the half wig starts. But you could definitely do a middle part and I would definitely suggest you cut layers into this though because as you can see it looks a little weird with the middle part because they're so short here. Um, this You have this short layer here then you have the really long at the bottom so you should just cut it to even it out more. Like I think this wig will look really really cute like after it gets a little bit old and you're tired of wearing it or if, if it gets like really tangly if you cut it into a really cute shape like maybe a heart shape or do you know the heart shapes? I love like wigs that are cut like that. Or you can do like a really cute mushroom hairstyle or you can cut it into like some really funky layers. It all depends. You can do so much with this because there's so much hair that they give you. Um, so you can just basically have fun with cutting when the wig gets old. Like I don't even want to cut it now. 
Usually, you know, I just cut all my wigs, but I actually really like this. So I'm not gonna cut it. Um, I'm not gonna cut it into layers either because I've been really liking this little flip over that I did. So I don't even wanna mess it up. Like, I love it that much and that says a lot because I always talk trash about all these wigs, but I really like this one. So that does definitely say that you should get this for the spring. Definitely means that you need this in your wig closet for sure. So another thing that I really like about this hair is the fact that there are ringlet curls. So it's an actual curl that this wig has and it's really, really pretty. Now I also would suggest if you are doing something to your leave out, like twisting it up like I did, do not put perm rods because the perm rods I think made the hair a little bit, it gave it too much shrinkage. So I would definitely suggest using flexi rods because this is a looser curl. It's not really a tighter curl. Although it does blend in my leave out, I would feel like it would look better, much better if I had used a flexi rod and it will be longer too, so it will blend in more. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Beige. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell down below as well to my channel to be notified of all of my future uploads and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.